Hello fam, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch my video. For this project, here are the supplies you would need. Today I'll be doing two different projects. One is a flower mirror that you can hang on your wall and another flower stand mirror that you can use to apply your makeup. The first thing I'm going to do is cut three circles out of these party trays. Next, I'm going to take my erasable marker and I'm going to draw a four leaf flower on top of this aluminum party tray. This round mirror will be the center of my flower. Right now I'm making sure each one of my leaves are the same size. Okay, now I'm going to cut out all my flowers. If this is your first time to Monica Monet Collection, welcome! Don't forget to subscribe, push that like button, and turn your notification bell on so you can know each time I upload a video. Now to my dedicated, loving, supportive, awesome family members, I appreciate you from the where bottom of my heart. Okay, what I'm doing now is tracing, then I'm going to cut out this board, and this is going to be the background to my flower. After I finish cutting out my background, now I'm going to cut out four more small square pieces of this board. Okay, after I finish cutting out my squares, now I'm going to cut out four round circles and glue them together. This is where my flower is going to sit right on top of these four circles and it will be lifted off of the board which give it a 3D effect. Family, I would like to share a Proverbs with you. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Okay, fam, I need you guys to trust God in everything, because he will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay, he got you. Next, I'm going to take my beads and I'm going to glue them around my board.
After I finish gluing the beads around the mirror, then I'm going to take one bead and put on the tip of each leaf. Finally, I'm going to take my lights and I'm going to wrap it around the four boards that I glued to the background. I am finished. This project came out so beautiful, but I wanted to see this flower with a silver background. And also, I wanted to see the diamond wrap put around the flowers. The first thing I'm going to do is cut one string of diamond wrap out, and then I'm going to glue it to the edge of each leaf. After that, I'm going to glue my flower to the background of my silver party tray. Finally, I'm going to wrap my string of beads around my flower. Finally, I'm going to wrap my string of beads around my flower. Okay, I am finished. You can use this project as a centerpiece to hold your candles or a flower arrangement. Here is the flower mirror with the black background. Now here is the mirror with the silver background. Okay, I am finished with both projects. Please comment below and let me know which flower you like. The one with the black background or the silver one. Okay, here's project number three and here are the supplies you would need. After you have spray painted the flower, now it's time to add your rhinestones. Next, you're going to add one rhinestone to the tip of each flower. Now it's time for me to put my stand and my mirror together. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie five painter's ties onto my stand. Next, I'm going to secure my stand to my mirror by using the glue from my glue gun. Now 
Once the glue has dried and the stand is secured, I am finished. This stand is so beautiful and it was so simple to do. I hope you like this project. Please come back and watch many more of my projects. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn your notification bell on.